Joy Tactics. All right, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Everyone got their drinks. Everyone got their. Do I get my drinks? Little snacks. Go get your drink right now. Get something to sip. Uh, I don't have a melody in mind, but I want to be singing. That was a mm. melody. That get was your sip on, girl. Why don't you taste Yo, that cook, bubbly? Cook on this. See where it takes you. Get a sip of that shit and bring one to me if you don't mind, <laughs> please. Give me some milk and some cookies, too. <laughs> Let me dip that shit. Get it all wet. What is the sexual Santa Claus or something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put them kids upstairs and lock them away. I got presents for them and a long thing for you. Do you like this? I'm into Christian <laughs> ladies, by the way. So. I found out that you are one. Can you imagine getting dome in the fucking in the sled? Christian dome in the sled. With the reindeers, they're all the reindeers would have to put. Hey, look ahead! Look straight ahead! (laughs) Yeah, you put the blinders on all the reindeer, but that one freaky, that freak reindeer Rudolph (laughs) up in the front, lighting lighting you up with a red light. Oh, Uh, save this, save these for the Christmas eps. We can't burn this shit now. Not this, (laughs) not this stuff. I'll tell you what, I could imagine doing that, but it's really crazy to really imagine that really flying through the air with a bunch of reindeers in front of me and well uh, it doesn't make fucking sense no it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> that's um, why yeah, happened, i was wondering what why. happened to this the i did a rod what the Is fuck bro the i on? did a rod you know that they still use them dogs up in Alaska. You're talking about Balto? Yeah, yeah. That the Balto-style dogs? Sh- Yo, really quick, shout out to Balto for everything that he did getting the medicine across those snowy fields. That was Balto doing that. I don't know this guy. Well, wasn't Balto with a, with a team you don't know of Bal- other dogs? Well, I don't know, but he was the one really fucking pulling, the, pulling them through. <laughs> I don't know what made Balto so special, but they got a statue of him, I believe, in Central Park. Your name is Balto. Uh, what's your friend? What's your Balto. What's your friend's Balto. name? What's your friend's name? Dickney. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Balto was an Alaskan husky and sled dog belonging to a musher. Oh, we don't have mushers anymore. Mushers and breeder. Leonhard Leonhard Sepala. That sounds like a fucking Sith Lord. He achieved fame when he led a team of sled dogs driven by Gunnar Kessen. Sounds like a fucking Jedi. On the final leg of the 1925 Serum Run. I don't really get it, but... I get it. It's like DoorDash or Uber Eats. Except with some interesting names from different times and spaces. They kind of... they're, They're kind of like... They stuffed him. They stuffed they, him. They taxidermied him. They stuffed Baldo to the gills. They blew his. Where's he at? Let's me. unstuff him. Do that Let's to go. me when I die, please. You want to get stuffed? <clears throat> Taxidermy me and put me in in one of y'all's houses. In a children's in hospital corner. as a clown. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> put that in a children's you hospital as like by, a. Read, buddy. You can make it. Trust me. One day you can grow up. You can look like this guy. Mm-hmm. I just want my presence to be felt in some way after I, after I pass. You know, by ch- by it children, be, it won't. By by having children. No, by oh, you uh, want to be felt by children, or you want to be felt by the world. No, I don't want to be fucking felt by children. Harry. <laughs> you sick fucking freak. No, I'm no, I'm not, no, I'm not speaking on the, uh, uh, about that matter in that way. <laughs> no, I just the posthumous haunt, pedophile. Haunt, that's what the, oh shit. Yo, yo, am I kind of doing a new type gun of on the guitar? Sorry. <laughs> imagine get, imagine getting a porter uh, beer from a guy looking like this. <laughs> you look kind of I mean? like, uh, like a pirate. Uh, it looks like a pirate style. Sexy face. pirate. 
I didn't say sexy, but I just said pirate. The it's sexy pirate? Way. Michael nope, the sexy pirate? Sexy. <laughs> Pirates right. must have been so fucking horny, dude. They must have oh. been looking. They weren't looking for land. They were looking for pussy, dude. Nate. Well, right. They might well, have right. been. They're so well, they're you, drinking all the time. And you know what drunk, drinking horny? does to the human mind is it and infuses. <laughs> It, it, it tends to act have a chemical activation with the love molecule. Well, that's 100% <laughs> true. You guys have um, – have I talked about the book The Wager yet? The Wager by David Grant? Uh, yeah, the Wager? I think you have actually. But Well, do you know – have I told you guys this story from it where the guys – the sailors crashed in these giant ships that they were taking over – uh, following the Spanish Armada, and then they got they got fucked up all around the Cape uh, Cape Horn, Africa, you know? or maybe not Cape Horn, no, no, the other one, Cape, uh, the one bo- South American Horn, whatever. South American Argentina. Yeah, they get Cape fucked Fear. up around the bend of Argentina. Well, yeah, we'll just call it that. They shipwreck, and then they're stuck in like these isolated islands off uh, uh, um, near Chile, Chile, Chile. And yeah, then, but there there's go. native peoples that uh, that are going between those places, you know, and they try to help them out at first, but then the guys start trying to hook up with their wives. Oh, and they're hooking them up with showing them how to fish for local food, you know, hunt for local food, uh, make shelter. Then all the sailors get all horny and try to hook up with the wives, and then the the, the native peoples leave them. That's the danger of That's- being horny. And being That's a man, the last by the thing way. You, Typical man. That? Yeah. Typical. If you're helping somebody and then you go and you sleep with their spouse, they're not going to, just a tip, they're not going to appreciate the help that you were giving them beforehand. Unless that, unless they're part of the lifestyle. And you know what lifestyle I'm talking about, right? Euro club. I do want to say we could be part of... <laughs> We could be part of the lifestyle, you know what I'm talking about, with just one simple choice to be a part of it. You simple know what I mean? Jack. If we if we all started swinging. What are you talking about? You're you know they call swinging little, the lifestyle. Little pineapple oh, on the door. Right, right. Put the upside down pineapple up on my belly with a tattoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Guess what? Pull that thing I'm out. not married yet, but... Dude, yeah. I used to, you know where I, I used to work on uh, that island in Lake Erie mm-hmm. called Putin Bay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it was a seasonal um, sort of destination. In the, in the summertime, people would go there. So in the winter, it was just the locals. And the, uh, the rumor was is that all the business owners were swingers so all the tourists and all the people that would just come in for the seasonal work would go away and then that island would turn into the craziest fucking sexual winter style swinging fucking winter freak swinging off, freak off, sexual winter cozy shit. swinging fires yep. and red wine and oh, oh casserole style swinging <laughs> and these are like old people too like people in their 50s and they 60s. don't give a fuck <laughs> those would be some long fucking swinging sessions too you know they, what i'm saying because some of these old the the old the old fellas i mean they, they can go pretty mm-hmm. long you know what i'm saying Th- this isn't just a quick and those old guys are the type of guys that have the heavy piercings up in there the sexual heavy piercings oh the, yeah yeah the, the, the one thick pound piercing, piercing the and a Gilbert. belly tattoo that says pig <laughs> you say a henna tattoo <laughs> A henna tattoo that says pig that stays on all year round. Hella henna tattoos. You gotta go get it done every six days. When does a, ta- uh, a piercing get so big that it like causes irreversible sort of like, you know, where it's just a, a, a hole, a gaping hole somewhere. That's not, that's not a piercing. It's just like, dog, you got a hole in your flesh. I don't and know. It's gonna, and it's going to maybe kill you. I think that's what people are trying to discover. Well, you could (laughs) think about this. You could kill someone with a half a millimeter laser if you get that shit 
point it at the right vein, at the jugular, at the femoral artery. You just point it right there. Sing. That's a tiny asshole. And it all get, depends on where the hole is. You could oh, light somebody uh, well, up. If I have to discuss. Well, go ahead, Jack. No, no, because no. I'm pivot. I'm pivoting. I'm pivoting. Okay, I was gonna say if you had a, bu- a gun that shoots bullets the size of electrons, you could just unload on people all fucking day, and they'd be fine. The semi-automatic electron. But mm-hmm. you don't know what you're because yeah, in your mind you're shooting a tiny bullet, but you don't know what you're hitting in those smaller universes. Well, hopefully you're hitting you know, negative amoebas. The borrower style universes. Well, you don't know what amoeba cities are like. Whatever you don't, you know what I mean. 